Hello everybody, it's uh, needle day, not for the coronavirus, nope. Oh, I am off to get a cortisone shot in my right knee. Uh, why? Well, I have a torn meniscus in my right knee now, and my left one all this time. And of course I have osteoarthritis in there. So I'm going to go get a cortisone shot of my right knee and hopefully that'll help a little bit. Um, once I get my second shot for the coronavirus, um, just let my surgeon know. And then soon as the hospital is open, he's thinking, he's thinking by September, the hospitals will be open again for surgeries. Hopefully, and hopefully I go in before the snow falls to have my surgery. That's what I'm hoping. So, for my knee replacement for the left one, the right one, he's, we're not sure what we're going to do about the right one. I'm a little young still, but if I need both done, we'll do both. So, I don't like these shots. They're very painful. Very painful. So, anyways, um, the fluid. Be the reason why is because the fluid is now in between my joint, and it puts pressure when I walk, and it's just for a couple of days, it's just intense pain, and then it's supposed to, you know, and then it helps after that. So, <sighs> we'll see how long it lasts. It's supposed to last for six weeks, but my left one it was like just days that's the only relief i had because now it's bone on bone and every time i walk or whatever and there's nothing there to hold the bones together so it's just it moves around a lot so it's painful so anyways you guys all take care and uh i'll show you a little bit i guess <laughs> okay <laughs> See you in a bit. Hey guys. Oh man, is it ever hot out there? Um, I am back from getting my needle. Yes, I am. Oh, I hate it. The pain, it just goes in inside the knee and then it goes straight down to my ankle and then goes down to my little toes. But yeah, he said I'm going to need a knee replacement in that one, but not until it gets as bad as my last one. But yeah, they're both going to have to get done. And it'll be a while yet, so... He said, yeah, they're thinking about opening up in September the university, but then I have to wait for my turn. So, who knows? Could be winter before I get any relief from pain. But I got my little band-aid, see? My little knee, yep. I don't want to show too much my little fat legs. But anyways, yeah, I got my little, I got my, my needle and, um, that's going to hurt in a bit. So I'm going to go take some pain meds because there's fluid in my knee and the more I walk on it, uh, in about an hour or so, it's going to just kill me. So anyways, I hope you all have a, had a good day and that's somewhat of an update anyways. Uh, tomorrow I'm going for another ultrasound for my neck and um, the biopsy is scheduled for July or sorry June 23rd so I gotta be there for 8 o'clock in the morning so yeah because of my neck you know it's still it's still not gone down so it's still there and I woke up this morning feeling crappy, so yeah, it is what it is. Not everybody's blessed with good genes, that's for sure. And I have a double whammy, heart disease and <laughs> diabetes and cancer. And I got the quadru, the, what do you want to call it? The trifecta of diseases out there that can hurt people. <laughs> end your life quickly or end your life slowly. Just, it's there so i'll see you guys later have a good day bye